What's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today we are going to go through how to install uh, a certain, I wouldn't call it a mod, I would actually call it a script. Uh, I got a lot of questions on this on Facebook, so we're going to go through how you install certain callout scripts and things like that. So first thing you want to do is you want to go up and pull up the LSPDFR site. I'm just going to go straight back to here. <clears throat> And uh, you want to scroll over to download this screen right here should pop up. Uh, of course, you got everything on this front page, but just for the sake of time, let's go ahead and go to scripts and plugins. Click that right there, and then we're going to go out and I'm currently working on my 0.4. So I already got this one installed. We're going to go uh, with this stop the ped. All right, so you're going to go through. Um, you can read all this information. It might be helpful for you. Uh, I've read plenty of these a uh, few times so I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight to download um, gonna agree there and that's gonna download and in the meantime you want to go and find your GTA 5 file uh, so I'm gonna go here and it's, I actually have it pulled up already so I'm just gonna pull it over right here now here let's go all the way back out I'm gonna go to my C drive uh, it's gonna be program files and Rockstar and Anytime you make a different copy, you want to sit them in that same Rockstar file. So I named this one Grand Theft Auto 5 0. or 04. This was before I updated it. This is actually going to be my 04, but you can <coughs> change the name to this to whatever you want. It could be uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 dash real life. And if you want to use this one and the mods that you have in this one, you would uh, change that to just regular Grand Theft Auto 5 like this one. And then you would change this one to Grand Theft Auto 5 dash LSPFR. So this is going to be our 0 0.4. Uh, and let's go back to it. You want to open this up. You want to make sure you have WinRAR. Uh, it's free. I wouldn't pay for it. Uh, you'll get this message every single time. Don't pay any attention to that. So you want to open up Stop the Pit. And then uh, I would highly recommend going to the README. Uh, you want to make sure you have all of these prerequisites. Um, <clears throat> well, not necessarily have to, but you want to make sure that there's not a file that you necessarily need for this plugin to run. Go through, read all that stuff, uh, get yourself familiar with it. I've done this a few times, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, so you want to go here, and usually you just follow the uh, the path. So this right here says plugins. Now you can easily take these two right here, drag and drop over here, let me see, in like a white area and it'll go straight to that path. But for the sake of this, you always want to make sure you go through that path. So you go plugins and then right here, you want to go plugins and then you see you got LSPDFR right there, LSPDFR right there, and this is where you would drop it. So you would take this and drop it all in here in this folder. Now again, you can just drop it into that file. It should be easy, drag and, drag and drop. Now, a lot of times you guys may hear me talk about an any file. So <clears throat> say if you press the B button, like three screens pop up. You wanna make sure you go to the any file. The one we just added was, let me see here. Stop the pit. Uh, any of these right here that has that little setting configurations uh, icon is the any file. And let's see here. So you want to just click on that. And let's see here. Key to open the context menu for PEDS and vehicle is G. Now, G is my search key on my keyboard. So I could actually change this to uh, anything else. I could change it to S, but then I would be moving because uh, you can actually use the keyboard to move. W, S, uh, and D. <clears throat> I think that's right. So I'm not going to change it to, to S. I actually got used to it, so I'm going to keep it at G. I'll change it later. Uh, right here, it says the main plugin. You have to press it twice to stop the pit, which is E. Now, if you wanted to be another key, you could just go in here and change it to, um, let's see here, capital T. <coughs> and you would have to press T twice. So that's something you want to do if you have an... Um, keybind conflicts so right here looks like everything is good for me um, 
say if you want to do something on your controller um, see here main button of the controller you have to tap it twice it's the same thing uh, it's the d-pad right button so I use the uh, Xbox controller <coughs> so I would use the d-pad uh, you can also change it to d-pad left and that's the key that you would use to um, stop the pad. So I'm gonna leave this at D-pad right because I'm I'm used to that. And then uh, so yeah, that's pretty much. If you run into an issue where if you call in for backup, uh, you wanna make sure you save that. By the way, <clears throat> let's say you call for backup and it pulls up the stop the pad menu and uh, what's another one? Uh, police radio then that means you got the police radio um, let's see here let's go here the police radio set to B if you want it to open it up let's go right here police smart radio configuration uh, let's go to keyboard configuration see if this bit right here was B then it would conflict with my backup if it was like that it would conflict with my backup so what you want to do is you want to just change this back to C. That's what I use to open my radio. And I think that's the default. So, and then you would hit X, you would save. And that's how you install a call out. And also that's how you um, work around some of the key bond issues. If you have any questions, leave me comments down below. I'll try my best to answer it.